Hi, my name is Coach Topolsky, inventor of the new early vertical forearm trainer, what we call a tech paddle. The reason I'm talking to you now is to let everybody understand that the concept of the early vertical forearm or catch isn't a new concept, but how we train and the equipment that we use to train for that vital component of the freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and uh, butterfly is different and it's very different because in swimming the way that we've been training swimmers is to pull which is very important to get the water and to push back we do pull-ups we do uh, uh, arm extensions or tricep extensions to try to get kids to pull back faster but the early vertical forearm position is really dominated by small muscles not large muscles so this package that I'm holding here is a set of large uh, paddles that we sell in, uh, in a bag, in a carrying bag. It comes also in medium and small sizes for children because this is kind of a uh, skill that you need to teach early. When you've been swimming 16,000 uh, strokes a week and that's what's been documented. Some swimmers swim 16,000 times and repeating their arm strokes. If you have a bad habit, it's very, very difficult to correct. So you want to start kids early learning an early vertical forearm position. Um, when you open the bag, it comes up, they're all wrapped up really nice and they also come with new Velcro straps so they're a little bit easier to put on and keep on. There's a right hand and a left hand paddle and this is the right one. You just stick your arm in it. These are the old, uh, older straps and they just pull down and when you put your hand in you want to stretch out and just put your elbow up and your fist down. You don't want to open and cheat. That, that would be like using a hand paddle. These aren't hand paddles. You're not going to swim yardage with these. It's not going to happen. So don't even try. You're supposed to be doing very, very slow, slow motions with them. If you look at the best Olympic world record holders, even at that level, their early vertical forearm is pronounced more with one hand than the other. When they use their right hand, they're able to keep their head in water, but when they're swimming and breathing out of their right side, they usually don't have a equal uh, effective vertical forearm with their left hand. So every swimmer from a beginner to the elite elite swimmers with the world record holders still have to work on this because it's very important. It's the most critical phase of the stroke when it comes to producing power. I have, uh, I teach uh, kids from um, four years old all the way up to uh, college kids and um, you have to get them into a position to show them that uh, approaching this position is not only uncomfortable, it's not really natural. Most swimmers that are the elite swimmers have it easier. It comes easier to some swimmers than, than most. And I'm talking about a majority of swimmers. It's difficult. I spent hours and hours trying to get kids to realize that they have to focus and hold and hesitate and hold that position in the water so they can analyze. If they can't analyze their stroke, they're doing it way too fast. And the fact of the matter is you can't give kids uh, set in uh, college kids these hand pad or forearm paddles and just tell them to swim with them. It's a technical tool that takes a lot of time so please take your time do drills where you're isolating one arm and look how slow I move my arm. And if I'm in the water it's difficult to put your arm in this position is hard. It's, it's difficult. And just to get kids to put them on and not use them correctly is, is frustrating because these paddles can make a huge difference. When kids are at plateaus and they want to drop, this instrument, this piece of equipment is the thing that you need to use. So please, put them on, use them slowly. We do a warm-up and then I have the kids put them on for a 50 and then I have them do their stroke for a 50 and work on an early vertical form with the tech paddles. Backstroke, same thing, in, get the, get the catch, and slowly. 
slow motion. Slow. That's not the way we train in swimming. As slow as they think they're going, it's never going to be slow enough for you, coaches. Swimmers, you've got to slow it down to a point where it feels like they're not meant. For instance, you're going to be swimming and you're going to be sinking unless you have a pull buoy or you're kicking really hard. It's hard to kick really hard and fast to keep you moving so you can take time out and develop the muscle memory here in your shoulder to get the early vertical forearm that you need to propel yourself to you know, higher levels, to break those plateaus and to drop times. The only reason I develop this is to improve an early vertical forearm and let you drop some big times. There's no reason why you have to have yo-yo seasons where you start out slow every year and then just get to your time that you were last year. We want you to drop big and these th tech paddles are gonna do it for you. If you have any questions, give me, drop me a line at my uh, email address, www. Uh, TomTopo at netzero.com. And you can also go www.early-vertical-forearm.com and get a hold of our website and see more about this remarkable revolutionary training device we call the Tech Paddle. Good luck. Please try them. I think you should carry them around, buy them yourself. I don't think your coach should buy them. They should be a piece of your training equipment and you'll take them everywhere because these things produce what I tell them they're supposed to produce is an early vertical forearm and you'll drop some times. Good luck.